She crawled out of bed. So, the uh, question again is, uh, Harley, can you grow a third set of teeth if you start eating steak? <laughs> I mean, people got, I mean, some people have got this uh, theory that if you're, uh, if you're a vegan and you have a, teeth, a tooth issue or whatever, then if you eat steak and eggs, that you grow a third set of teeth, or that your teeth will have the Demi Moore glow. In actual fact, Demi Moore, what did Demi Moore do? She got her teeth done, which is what people do when they have the Hollywood smile. And that's totally fine. That's cool if you can afford it. Go ahead and get it done. All my friends with the best smiles are cosmetic dental surgery recipients and again that's fine man if you can afford it and you want that go ahead and get it power to you the reality is if you have a, a hole in your teeth that has gone down to the dents and the doesn't matter what you're eating doesn't matter what you're eating it's not going to get better it might sort of minimize but it's not going to get better so the whole notion that when people say oh you know I had like you know full-on tooth decay and then I read a book called Cure Tooth Decay, and then I started eating eggs and, and steak burgers and, and you know, going to the TGI Fridays, and it all got better. <laughs> How come these people never have any x rays or like full on, you know, clinical data that just showed like that? Like Dr. Esselstyn with his uh, reversing heart disease, and Dr. Bernard reversing uh, type 2 diabetes. I like clinical data, you know, otherwise, it, for me, it's just. It's bro science at best. It's bro science at best. So avoid getting caught up in the dogma that says if you eat animal products, you won't have any uh, teeth issues, which we see 40% of the US over 65 have no teeth. You know, like if you look at this, so if you look at the stats, if you look at the data, if you look at the real figures of dental health issues, it's fucking rife in society that people pretend it only happens if you eat fruit. You know, or it's just something. It's, just, it's nonsense, isn't it? So what I like to remind people is that the majority of the raw paleo or the primal paleo diet people out there, actually, if you look closely, you can tell they've got porcelain veneers or false teeth, which is fine. I'm just saying that when you say that eating animal products means you'll have perfect teeth, which it doesn't, and then your guru has got false teeth or porcelain veneers, then... You know, put two and two good. It's like getting weight loss advice from a person who's overweight. You know, it's like, so I, I eat the paleo diet because it's like good for slimming. But the guy's book I read about paleo diet, the guy's overweight or the lady's overweight, which is fine if you're overweight, doesn't make you a bad person. I'm just saying that it's good to step back and look at the bigger picture versus just having this like diet, 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 diet mentality. And then you forget about someone's past history of anorexia or alcoholism or drug abuse or bruxism or you know getting the fights and getting chipped teeth or you know people forget all about that they just I don't know what goes on in people's minds people want to look for excuse to go to TGI Fridays and have a steak burger because they're so hungry I don't know what's going on but but the reality is the clinical scientific reality is that stress can give you dental issues grinding your teeth can give you dental issues from bruxism if you're a late night grinder like I am if you've done Ventolin medication, can give you teeth issues. I've had that for 15 years, Ventolin medication. You know, the puffers, 15, 18 years, whatever it was. That little blue puffer was in my mouth all the time. Dry mouth can give you dental issues, dehydration, poor oral health, so not flossing or not brushing effectively, efficiently, consistently. Things like that can all give you dental issues, certain antibiotics, you know, acidic foods, too many nuts, too many hard foods, cracking candy. I used to crack candy all the time in my teeth, mate. Just those big things and just, you know, just crack them then. And it's, uh, it's wonder if I've got any teeth left at all. So definitely, I always find it amusing when people do something for a year or a few months or two years or whatever, or even three years, and then they blame that, but then they forget what they've been doing their whole life, you know, 15 years, 40 years, 50 years, or whatever. So what we often find in dental issues is that the decay starts internally and spreads externally so your tooth might look good but if you on an x-ray massive hole in there so that's definitely a reality ask the dentist get some opinions don't just rely on one opinion get multiple opinions that's my I'm a big fan of that don't just take your car to mechanics and go what's wrong with it you know, take it to a few get opinions get many opinions do your own homework and don't take advice from people on forums who have some avatar 
making up some radical claim. I'll grow third, I did like, you know, third, three teeths of sets, and after like, oh, I, I was eating grass-fed steak for two weeks, and all my teeth grew back. Ah! <laughs> Nonsense stuff. But anyway, so I've got, and I can talk from personal experience, I've got close friends who show me their blunt tests, they show me their teeth, they're eating animal products, the teeth are not getting better, they're getting worse over time. So the whole illusion that you can eat some raw animal products and the cure tooth decay is absolute fucking bullshit. It's bro science at best. And I've seen it first hand. You know, the notion that you can do a fruit diet and grow teeth back is also bullshit. So if you've got some dental issues, you need to do your homework and you need to get some opinions from the dental advisors and uh, if you've got a big cavity in there, man, you get that, you know, do your homework on that one. It's not going to grow back on its own. Trust me, it's not. Dry fasting or solar gazing or whatever, you know, <laughs> taking a vitamin K2 supplement, it's not going to fucking grow a tooth back that's got half of it missing or that's got a massive, you know, crack through and, and decay down to the pulp. It ain't going to fix it. Just be real, be honest, do your homework, and uh, that's all I've got to say. Peace, thanks for watching. Post your comments and questions down below. And one of the most radical stories you've heard about teeth growing back and stuff like that from the, the, the trolls and the haters out there. Alright, see you later.